everybody, welcome back. We're starting chapter four, which is going to be talking about how to design studies. And first of all, we're going to have to kind of decide what's the best way to collect some data. And that's kind of the whole crux of how we can get into statistics. So today we are going to go through Statsmedic's lesson on does Beyonce write her own music? So what we're going to do here is this. Normally what would happen is that when the kids come into class, or when you guys come into class, I would give you a sheet of paper that looks a lot like this. And it's got the lyrics to Crazy in Love. So the question is, did she actually write it? Did the Queen Bee write Crazy in Love? And I would have you go through and just randomly pick five words. Okay? So let's go through, and I'm going to go through, and I'm going to say, like, I'm going to say crazy. There's a lot of those. And let's see what else we've got. Begging. And then, I don't know, say in myself. And then fool. So then you would average how many letters are in those five words. So I've got, what, five, two, four, six, seven two, six, four. So that's what, 12, 14, 20, 24 divided by five is going to be 4.8. So that looks like this. And then you'd go up and make a dot plot of all of this. So this is the dot plot of the data that we had last year. Looks like that. Fairly spread out. Um, and then the question is, is that going to be the best way to go through and, sorry, um, pick words? So what we end up doing is we're going to go through and there's going to be a random number generator. You've got a couple different ways that you can do that. There's random number tables on your calculator. You can pick a random number generator. Let me pull up the right one. There we go. So when you go through and pick up the random number generator, to get here, you are going to, first of all, let me get out of here. You're going to go to math. And we're going to pick, go all the way over to probability menu. And then since we're going to want to pick integers, and wait a second, how many different words could we pick from? Well, that's because back here on our list of words, Somebody by the name of Gabe Yonker was nice enough to go through and number all of these. Okay, so there are a total of 297 different lyrics in there. And if you go down through and read this, you'll say, all right, there we go. So we need to pick a ran five random numbers between 1 and 297. So when we do that, we're going to say, all right, oops, my numbers have jumped around. Probability, we're going to go to random number integer number five. And when you do this, you're going to end up going through, you need to have a lower number. So lower number is one. My upper number is 297. And then how many different letters do we, how many different words do we want to pick? Or how many different numbers here? Now we want five. Since this is truly random, there is a chance that you might get multiples of the same number. So I usually will suggest that you pick a little bit, a few more than what you need. You're going to click on paste. You're going to run it. And so we are going to pick 281, 270, 44. And if one of these, and if you don't repeat, then we're just going to take the first five. If they did repeat, you'd move on to the next one. Okay? So <clears throat> if I look up on my list, so here's the, here are the words that I have. I need to look up on my list. Yeah, I'm sorry. I redid my numbers or my quick keys. So 281 is I. Ooh, that's a short one. 270 is your. Are compounds words really a single word? Two questions for your English teacher just for fun. Two, 153. Oops, just scroll up. Who? 121 is kiss. So then you would say, okay, I'm going to average those. So I've got 1, 5, 2, that would be 8, 11, 
15. So I've got 15 divided by 5. So my average number would be 3. So the whole class would go through and do this. And my data from last year looks like this. So now the question then becomes, what's the difference between these two dot plots? And so you as a class would kind of go through and, and actually, um, yeah, you guys were going to go through and talk through it and say, all right, what's going on? And usually what ends up happening, if I can pick my right colors, make sure we're still on screen, um, the dot plot for number four, somebody usually says, well, it's still kind of spread out, but it's a little bit more bunched up. Yeah, I mean, like up here, notice it's it's very flat, and we kind of talk about it. Okay, you can kind of, if you draped a tablecloth over it, what would it look like? So dot plot number four has less variability. And what's the mean here? So we go through and do all the mean. The mean up on the top one, if I remember correctly, from last year was like, this had a mean of 5.3. This one down over here had a mean of, what did I have? My mean here was, I think, 3.46. This is just a representation of what we did. Um, so obviously the mean is lower in four and three. So now the big question is, what do you think the true mean of a word length in crazy in love is? So would you put it more on this one or more on this one? So again, this is an opinion here. Normally, my class last year kind of said, well, it's probably somewhere between, they said something like 3.4 to 4.5, but we don't really know. We went through and actually did it, and it turns out our mean for all 297 words is actually 3.53 letters per and so that would be right, if we're up here, right there. Down over here, it's here. And then you kind of drop the bombshell. You're like, okay, well, you know, back in when, Best, when Beyonce wrote all the lyrics for Destiny's Child songs, the average word length for those songs is 3.64 letters. So based on the samples back even up here, do we have good evidence that Beyonce did not write the lyrics for Crazy in Love? And if you look at this, our evidence is 3.46. So if I compare that to 3.64, is that really all that different? Okay, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Good evidence that Beyonce did not write the lyrics. No, we don't. The true mean length is 3.53 letters. This is, I should print, sorry, close to the Destiny's Child. Mean what? Word length. Yes, you have to write all that out of 3.64 letters. We do not have evidence. Beyonce did not write crazy in love. Okay, 
And that's kind of what we end up going through and talking about is we're trying to say what type of evidence do we need to say that did happen or we don't have evidence that that didn't happen. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and refine parts of this over in the next section. So I will see you then.